Crews are working to recover more debris from the spy balloon shot down off the Carolina coast. The FBI saying that many remnants of the balloon remain underwater, including the payload. A senior U.S. official tells NBC News if you combined all the parts that have been found so far, it would be about the size of a small car. NBC has learned that American U-2 surveillance planes circled the balloon before it was shot down, capturing high-res images of the technology on board, including multiple antennas that a senior State Department official describes as capable of collecting signals, intelligence from cell phones or radio frequencies. The president tells Telemundo the balloon was not a major security breach. The total amount of uh, intelligence gathering that's going on by every country around the world is overwhelming. And the idea that a balloon could traverse, uh, break American airspace is, uh, anyway, it's, it's not a major breach. I mean, look. It's totally, it's a violation of international law. It's our airspace. Joining us now is NBC's national security and global affairs reporter, Dan DeLue. So, Dan, let, let's start with these images from the spy balloon that show multiple antennas. And, and we're told they can collect data from cell phones and radio frequencies. What could China learn from these transmissions? I think we'll have to wait to see, Ryan, uh, what they might have learned. Um, but as President Biden is saying, the Pentagon and the intelligence community are also suggesting they don't think they would have picked up very much because, A, they were taking actions, i.e., trying to jam that balloon, and that any sensitive communication at, for example, a military base would be encrypted. But nevertheless, uh, they may have picked up some information. We don't know what conversations uh, they may have scooped up with that balloon. But I think in the scale of things, the administration is saying, listen, this is not a major significant breach of intelligence. And this has, uh, of course, led to a diplomatic problem for both countries. And China saying today that it's refusing calls from the Pentagon to discuss the balloon because what it calls America's, quote, irresponsible response to the balloon incident, even joking about the atmosphere because they told us at one point that it was a weather balloon. Uh, how dangerous is this breakdown in communication? You know, Ryan, I think that is a really key issue here. And it predates this whole balloon episode. It's something that U.S. officials say they, they are concerned about. And a lot of former ambassadors and a lot of former military officers will tell you this is the key, and it's really lacking. Even during the Cold War, we had communication channels with the Soviet Union, even at the height of the Cold War. And we don't have those kinds of channels open with the Chinese. And it's something that the Pentagon has asked for now for years. And it really is an issue here. And I think this balloon episode has really exposed that problem. So let's uh, talk about the Hill reaction yesterday. I was up there as lawmakers were grilling defense officials about why the U.S. didn't shoot down the balloon sooner. In that interview with uh, Telemundo, President Biden defended the decision to wait. Let's hear what he had to say. I said I wanted to shot down as soon as possible. And they were worried about the damage that could be done even in a big state like Montana. This thing was gigantic. What happened if it came down and hit a school? So there are lawmakers, Lisa Murkowski among them. Uh, she represents Alaska. Angry the balloon wasn't shot down near Alaska before it really got into American airspace. Uh, what are military officials saying? You know, that issue of why it wasn't shot down earlier over the Pacific has not been directly addressed. The, the suggestion seems to be, I think, that, well, this was not representing a kind of hostile, immediate, imminent danger. And I don't think they anticipated that the balloon would make a turn eastward and start flying over the uh, continental U.S. And so that seems to be the explanation why they didn't shoot it down uh, near Alaska. The U.S. military officials said at that hearing yesterday, listen, it didn't get near any sensitive sites in Alaska. But you heard the senators were not really convinced or satisfied with that answer. And I think that question is going to come up again and again. Yeah, and Senator Murkowski somewhat angry because she felt as though the administration not treating Alaska as if it were part of all 50 states there, that it was somewhat flexible whether or not the balloon came over uh, the airspace over Alaska, Why? one of the reasons she was so upset. Dan DeLuz, thank you so much for your reporting. We appreciate it.